classic as a result, but very comfortable in Twins territory. Gallo playing first base today. He's only 19 years old. Gallo watches ball two. He thought he had his pitch there early in camp. Big guy, 6'7", as Gallo pops one sky high. He had no idea where that ball was. Now Correa's first spring training at bat, not allowed to, and he jumps right back into the box. Regulation there, force a habit. One, two. That's a breaking ball, and that's down low. Painter does work quickly, third base side of the rubber. A ground ball in the hole at short. Sosa smothers it, loses it. Athleticism of those defenders. Kepler taking low ball one that you rarely saw the diving plays. Painter delivers and Kepler fouls away two and one. Sharp in the early going so far. Takes a strike, it's two and two. One I think is going to see a lot of playing time. And the breaking ball's down and in, he couldn't hold up. Max is down on strike, so we see one of those plus pitches. Carlos at first base, scoreless bottom of the first. On his shoulder. Need to be at this point. Fastball hit high in the air, right field. Guthrie's out there, the son of one of your former teammates and Dalton Guthrie. Reaches up, makes the grab. Andrew Painter delivers off the plate away. So, well, Dane Gledden probably fell out of your permanent file. This one smacked into right center field, and that's a base hit. Vasquez takes a hard turn at first, and he'll turn player like that. He'll kind of dictate. Nick Gordon smokes a ball into right field. That's a base hit for Gordon Vasquez. Going to go first to third. And Sosa and Kingery up the middle. He can't throw over there again. He bluffs, Vasquez bluffs, and the pitch is walloped high in the air to left center field. Again, Marsh doesn't really see it, but Muziati does. Gordon tries to tag and advance to second. He's going to be thrown out. Nick Gordon, he stays at first with the sack fly. Now he's still... Painter working out of that full wind again, and a nice breaking ball. 700 games in center. Clearwater on Sunday. One, two, tap towards shortstop. That's where Sosa's hanging out, picks it up, throws to first. They trail 2-1 after two. Home for Twins Baseball. What were you doing at the age of 19? And if you're not 19 yet, what do you think you're going to be doing? Well, Andrew Painter was facing major league hitters for the first time in his career. That's right, 19 years old is Andrew Painter, who is the top prospect, pitching prospect, in Major League Baseball. He's on MLB Pipeline's Top 100 in at number 6. And again, he is the first pitcher on the list. So he went up against the Twins today. You can see right here the player breakdown. We saw mostly fastballs. 19 fastballs, 6 cutters. So 25 of the 29 pitches were of the fastball variety with a couple of breaking pitches thrown in there as well. But we saw really what he could be. What he could be. There were flashes of that fastball. He touched 99 at one point in the game. We see here the strikeout with the cutter. That was good stuff getting Max Kepler there. We take a look. I want to look at his grades because if you're wondering what his strong suits are, we're going to pull those up right now. We see we get a 70 out of 80 on that fastball. There is extreme potential there. He's only going to get better. Now, Remember, he's not at 70 right now. That's where it profiles to be. But it looks pretty good right now. So you got a 70 out of 80 on the fastball. You've got the control is the other element here. A 65 out of 80. And I think you saw that at times in this outing where he was putting the ball right on the black in a spot where he wanted to get the strike called by the ump and he just wasn't getting the strike. There were a few instances where we saw that and he knew he knew that at other times he's gotten the call. He just wasn't getting it uh, today in this outing. Now, if you're thinking about how he's going to play out, profile out for the 2023 season, he only reached double only. He, he made it to double A last year, made a handful of starts. So you have to think he's probably going to, he might start at double A this year. And if he doesn't, you're looking at triple A. He's not going to break with the major league club. I think you're going to put him back down there again. You might start him at double A and figure maybe 10 or so starts. And if he's doing well, move him on to triple A. Because there's really no extreme hurry for Andrew Painter to join the big league club. Look at the rotation right now with Nola and Wheeler at the top. 
followed by Walker and Suarez. That's your 3-4. That's pretty good. And then at the number five spot, you've got Bailey Falter and other options that you can certainly slide in there as well. So there is no pressing urgency for Philadelphia to try to hurry this kid along. And listen, he's a 19-year-old arm. They're going to take care of him. But I think we saw flashes today of what he can be. And I think that, again, Philadelphia Phillies fans, you have a reason to be excited in Andrew Painter. This kid is going to be an absolute monster as he continues to progress throughout his major league career. NL East, Mets, Braves, Nats, Marlins. I'm sorry. I My, my condolences. That is going to do it for this one, everybody. Make sure to hit that like if you haven't yet and subscribe. Stay close to the channel for more content as we get ready for the 2023 season to start. I encourage you all to make sure to subscribe and turn those alerts on so you don't miss anything. That is it. Ball Cap Nation, I salute you. Thank you for coming in and supporting the video. I'll add some links to some of the other content for you to check out here now. Again, appreciate you coming in and I'll catch you next time.